everybody I hope everyone is well and I'm pretty sure you're get busy getting ready for Labor Day weekend and everything uh, this will be a short video because um, I'm trying to relax and everything <coughs> <coughs> sorry I've been fighting allergies um Oh, I'm here. Hold on a sec. I need to fix something. One minute. I forgot. I thought I wrote it down. I gotta write this in there. There we go. Now it should work. Hi, Nancy. Long time no see. How are things in Ava, uh, Wisconsin? Um. Anyway, uh, for the political side of things, um, I did not was not able to watch the interview. Uh, I tried going to CNN website and they expect you to pay for their thing and everything else. And it's like, this is ridiculous. And of course, you know, they have these little excerpts and everything. Well, you know that they're, they make it slanted. Uh, which I don't appreciate. If they're going to do an interview, they should post the whole thing and post it on YouTube for everybody to see that missed it. Uh, but I understand it was very, very good. And uh, she literally had the uh, MAGA Republicans and Trump shaking in their shoes, and which is good. And, um, and of all the stuff this week that Trump has pulled, you know, the Arlington thing and everything else, he thinks the rules don't apply to him. Yes, they apply to him. And they should be enforced. Well, the staffers there felt they should not press charges against the Trump staffers. Because they're afraid of retaliation. And I'm saying, bull crap. Charge them. Charge them for assault. Teach them a lesson. Teach Trump and his staffers a lesson. I, didn't, I don't care if Trump was quote, unquote, unquote, so-called president. He should be treated like everybody else. And, um, I don't like it when people are saying, well, they, the kids glove, on Trump, for whatever reason, the kid gloves come on. Well, the kid gloves need to come off. And they need, he needs to be put in his place. Okay, and so, um, anyway, as you noticed in the various news articles and everything else, oh, I would have pressed charges to Nancy. I would slap the book at him and say, uh-uh, when it says quiet and respectful, that's what it means on the sign on the, on the building. And Trump is being stupid. He's being a stupid, stupid, stupid bully. And he's an idiot. So, uh, Trump, all he wants to do what he, uh, as president is being a bully and go after revenge is what he wants. Well, it doesn't work that way, okay, ever. Anyway, as you noticed, noticed that um, Trump and his bullies are trying to use scare tactics, um, saying all, all kinds of bunch of stupid crap, uh, and saying, well, if Trump does not, is not elected president, there will be a... Republican uh, civil war. That's not going to happen. 
is not going to happen. A good majority of the true conservative, as what they call themselves, the um, what do they say? Original Republicans. Um, true conservative Republicans. Uh, they left the party. And they're looking at uh, maybe possibility of forming another one. I don't know if that's really going to happen, but it's just what it sounds like. Um, frankly, they should go right back in and give Laura Trump and at all on the board a big boot kick in the butt and say, you're out the door. You don't belong here. And so, if the if the mangas want their own party, they should form their own party, not take over, take over an already established political party. They should form their own if they want to. Uh, he's trying to cheat, and all of all the safeguards and everything is in place to prevent that. Okay. We didn't let him win in 2020, and we're sure not going to let him win in 2024. Um, Trump's going to lose. He's going to go to prison. And I would love to hear his reaction when the, door, the jail door is slammed behind him. Frankly, I think the guy belongs in a... a uh, Solitary cell. You know, he could talk to the walls all he wants to. So anyway, um, what they're threatening, what MAGA's and Trump is threatening, it's not going to work. People could, people are now seeing right through him. They don't want him. And they're sick and tired of all this crap. They're hungry for the truth and for our democracy and everything else. And we're going to keep our democracy. It's been working for 257 years. And we're not going to quit now. And as, as President Harris says, we're not going back. And I agree. We're not going back. Um... Again, I was not able to watch the interview unless there is a, a if I could find like MSNBC or something like that, because I'm sure the interview is, I don't know if that is an exclusive interview or not. Um, I'll see if I can w watch it. I hope they don't cut anything out or do any heavy editing, because... They do heavy editing. It's not going to serve any purpose. Um, anyway, again, Trump needs to shut up. And take things like a man and move on. Oh, and speaking of which, remember George Soros? The, or the guy that... Um, got nailed for fraud and identity theft and everything else. He served in Congress and he got booted out of Congress. Well, he's going to be, um, he's been, uh, he, not, he, try again. He pled guilty. And so I don't know what the sentencing is going to be, but it looked like from, I gather it's going to be like 8 to 10 years in prison. And he has to serve the whole term. Uh, so, I don't know what else, but they'll find out. Minus Touch has been keeping an eye on this. Um, other than that, um, I've been watching Vice President Harris and her Santos. What do you want? You're hungry? We're going to have to wait. 
Okay, just wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Um, crap. He's got sharp claws. <laughs> he didn't stop it. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Loki keeps swiping at me and he's hungry and he gets demanding sometimes. Um, that was my cat. Uh, yeah, George Santos. Um, whatever his name is. He's going to be in jail for a while. So, frankly, I think Trump should be in jail, too. And he's still trying to, he pulled the same stunt again by trying to move the case to federal level. Well, he's already got felony charges. He's already been convicted. And I'm sure the judges are going to tell him no. And the appeals court will tell him no. It's not going to happen. Trump is trying to pull the same stunt again. Trying to delay everything again. And I hope that they will tell him no. So what part of no you don't understand, Trump? You will be sentenced and you will be in jail. I noticed that Trump hasn't been campaigning all that much and his he almost looks like the same crowds that come in or the same faces that come in. I wonder if he doesn't have like paid actors. Okay. Not true real true crowds like my president Harris. Her her rallies or their rallies are packed. They're packed to the gills. And it's driving Trump nuts because of the crowd size, which I find that kind of funny. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, on to bigger things. Uh, of course, you know, this weekend is Labor Day weekend. Uh, Labor Day is the 3rd of September. And uh, let's see. Let me check my calendar here. Calendar, calendar, calendar. I don't know if I'm going to be doing my chat show on Monday or not since it's Labor Day. Since it's a holiday and everybody's going to be busy. Oh, he was. Huh. Well, a lot of people are starting to say now that Trump's so-called assassination is more of a setup. Um, but it's hard to say. I mean, the guy, the guy that took a shot at him, pot shot at him, of course, is dead. Um, and you would think those that trying to do political assassinations, they're in a dangerous spot because they can get themselves done in. Providing if they decide to, you know, just give up and be taken into custody. Um, yeah, um, so a lot of people are making a head start on going camping if they can. Go camping, stay home, take a day trip, you know, just to have fun with family and friends. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to be posting this video on my YouTube channel to those that watch or missing it. Poor dog. Oh, but that's fun. Do they chase each other around, or do they stay pretty much, pretty, uh, chilled? Um, four dogs and three cats. You're going to be busy, Nancy. Um, I have one cat, and sometimes it gets demanding. 
Again, he's got shark claws. I don't think he's got real me or anything. Um. So anyway, other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Otherwise, personally, health-wise, I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm finally able to I'll be seeing a cardiologist next month or starting this next month. And so find out what they're going to do there about my irregular heartbeat. Um, AFib is not fun. So it's being controlled. <laughs> oh, I bet, Nancy, I bet you're saying, really, guys? I mean, really? Oh, sweet puppies. Lab mixes. Yeah, Labrador Retrievers are good dogs. I had a, I had a half lab and half Cocker Spaniel mix. Um, I had a Sheltie. Um, my Sheltie, she had babies. She had like five of them, five pups. And uh, she was bred to a, um, well, like God to her was a golden retriever. And she stayed within her bloodlines. Which, you know, water dog, hunting dog bloodlines. Um, and her pups were like her, very protective of the place. In some ways, I wish I had the money to, at that time to keep the dogs, keep the pups. But um, they went to good homes. I bet you do, Nancy. <laughs> I bet you see them ah! climb all over you and lick you to pieces. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, sign off. I'll let you go. Have a good weekend. Um, anytime I hear anything about he who shall not be named, I just... I just don't want to hear him. I can't stand him. I can't stand his whining. I can't stand his this. I like the way President, Vice President Harris lays out her plans, what she wants to do, and um, how she wants to make things better for everybody. Oh, one other thing before I go. Um, I don't know if you saw this a video on this, but the shortfall of Gravitas drone ship came back from port after SpaceX's rocket decided to fall over and you know, explode. Um, they're trying to find out what's going on with that booster. They don't know if the landing leg had an issue and it just collapsed. Um, well, what happened? Um, because everything was pretty much textbook, you know, landing and everything else and the, the entry. But when it, after it landed and it started having problems, and that's when it keeled over. Um, luckily it was the booster, not the, ro the whole rocket itself. Okay. Um, and of course the FAA grounded space. SpaceX because of that. Well, FAA, got news for you. Get out of the space business. Let NASA handle this. Okay? You guys don't get bent out of shape when NASA has a problem with its rockets or engine testing or anything, do you? And you don't ground them. So why are you grounding SpaceX? Okay? Um... Most of the rocket launches that SpaceX does is Starlink, uh, microsats that go up there for communication, and then occasional crew, exchanging a crew. You gotta let the crew fly. You know, you're under contract, they're under contract with NASA. And so, FAA, back off. Let them investigate this and find out why, what happened, and stop grounding them just for every little thing. Okay? 
And if they say to me, well, you have no business saying that, I go, yeah, I do, because I pay my taxes. And guess where your paycheck comes from, which is us. You and me, they work for us, not the other way around. So, anyway, uh, okay, well, have a wonderful weekend. Take care, stay safe. Nancy, keep an eye on the sky. There's still a whole bunch of storms coming through. There, were whole, there was a one big storm that came through uh, the Midwest yesterday and caused a few problems. So, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.